Welcome, good morning, and thank you for joining us for a new developing a promotional strategy session. In case you have attended any previous session today, we have some updated content. And if you're new, then, then welcome. I will introduce myself. I'm Maria del Mar, and I've been part of the books team where I have been learning the business so I can share it with authors. Okay, so we're ready to start. As an independent author, it would be a dream come true to just hit the publish button and immediately become a top seller, right? Well, this is not the case. Just like writing your masterpiece was a lot of work, letting people know that your book is out there takes some additional work. Being an independent author is like owning your business. You're the author, publisher, and agent all rolled into one. That means you will need to learn how to plan and execute an effective promotional strategy. Today, we're going to discuss um, creating your plan at a high level. Meaning, if, if you have never run a blog before, this webinar is not going to teach you how to run a blog. You will, however, know where a blog may fill into your promotional plan. I would like to share with you as well um, our agenda. Today, we will talk about setting your book up for success, building a brand, developing your strategy, and the tools that Amazon has to help market your book. Okay, so we, we're ready to go. Let's start with the help we offer. If you get stuck when you're developing your plan, KDP Help, Pages, and Amazon Partner Sites are great resources that you can use to, to promote your book. We have those links in today's downloadable companion. So don't worry, we have them there. A successful promotional campaign begins before your book is published. Now, that doesn't mean if you haven't already published, it's too late to create a promotional plan or campaign. It just means that you may need to take what you learned from today and rework some things you have done or apply it to your next book. A strategy starts knowing the goal and setting realistic short term and long term objectives. This can help you set in the right direction. Creating a successful campaign requires planning, research, and begins knowing your readers. Just like you created your character in your book, create your end reader. Who are they? What do they like? Do they prefer read digitally or paperback, or do they listen to books? I hear some of you now, hey, but my book is for everyone. While that may be true, you need to begin building a reader base. Just like you may have a core group of friends that you hang out with on Friday nights, your reader base is your core group. They are the individuals that will be interacting with you, waiting patiently for you to, your book to release. It is through this group that the word of how amazing your book is will spread. So where do you find your target audience? Ask that, ask that to yourself. Where do you go to find new authors? What genre is your book? Check out similar books on authors. What do they do to reach their audience? All those practices, you are first a reader, so think as a reader. And then you can, you can find that core group. Now that we have created your end reader, you should take a hard look at your book. Why? Because end readers expect, expect a certain level of quality. You may have a certain vision for what your book, but remember, you're designing for your audience, not just for you. So you need to really check on everything of your book, grammar, spelling, formatting, the quality of the book. Look at where you want to spend your time and money. Yes, I said money. While the KDP website is free to use, has several free resources, are you able to format your own book? You need to take an honest look at your skill set. Are you really able to design a high-end cover? Who do you have editing your book? Does your title resonate with your prospective audience? Sometimes it is worth the money to hire a professional for certain components of your book, like editing, um, designing your book cover, your title, your book description, or marketing. I'm not saying that you absolutely must pay for these services. I'm just suggesting that this is where you will get the biggest bang for the bug when attracting their new readers. 
let's take a look at why am I making um, this suggestion. Although it can be expensive to hire your book professionally, edit it. The quickest way to lose the trust of your audience is to have grammatical or spelling errors throughout your book. Think about your book, um, any book you have read. If you run into grammatical or spelling errors in the first few chapters, are you really going to recommend that book to your friends, your family? Are you going to continue reading that book? Now, book covers are the elevator pitch to your audience. It should communicate your genre, tone, and be unique enough to stand out from thousands of books you're competing with. Be realistic. Can you design the cover yourself or should you hire a professional? Or should you get someone's advice? If you hire a professional, take the professional's advice. It is easy to become too close to your work and while you love the cover, does it speak to your end reader? If it does, does it say the right thing? Along with a cover design, your title should grab your reader's attention. Think about your experience. Why do you pick up a book? Does the title play into your decision? Personally, when I'm searching for something new to read, the title plays a big part on whether or not I read the description. The next step in marketing your book is, is your book description. For an ebook, this will be just part of the detail page, but for the paperback, it is also part of the back cover. This should be concise, relatable, evoke emotion, and convince your readers they want more. Remember, this is to catch up your readers. Avoid adding a whole summary of every single chapter of your book. Check on grammar and spelling. Note this would be the synopsis of your book that will appear on the Amazon detail page. So this should be attractive enough to keep your readers in your detail page. And readers have certain expectations when they pick up a book. These expectations are often linked to your book genre. So think about when you when you look for a new book to read, what do you expect to see on the cover? Are there certain images, fonts, colors? Are you going to read a book that does not meet those expectations depending on the genre of the book? Look at books on your genre or look at five authors who are similar to your style of writing. What do their covers, title, and description have in common? What's different? Then decide what makes your story unique. How are you going to communicate that uniqueness to your readers? It may be through your title, the image you use on the cover, the front choice for the title, author, and subtitle. You need to determine that. With the end reader in mind, quality formatting, an eye-catching cover, and an attractive description, it is time to set up your goal. Your success is dependent on setting a goal and committing yourself to it. Having a consolidated strategy that works for your target audience will have some steps prior to develop the path that works best for you. So our first recommendation, analyze the steps you will need to follow to reach your goal. Then it is time to break down those steps into tasks and find out what, when, and where, and how you will accomplish them. Then you need to take some time out from your schedule to execute your plan. Remember setting short-term and long-term goals, and this will help you create, um, with those steps, this will help you create a consolidated strategy. Now that you have identified your audience, figure out what your genre expectations and what makes your book unique. What's next? Use all that information to build a author brand or to build a brand. Let's start by defining how we'll be using the term brand. While a brand does potentially include a logo, color scheme, and visual style, we're going to use the term brand as how your end reader identifies with you. Okay? So, not your book, with you, the author. With the advent of websites and social media, a brand is more about how your audience sees you. How do you interact with your audience? Are you approachable? Do you have sense of humor? 
do you convey a sense of authority? Your brand equals trust. So this is really important for your readers. Think about how you want to come across to your readers. Or, well, our biggest suggestion is do not try to be someone else, be authentic to yourself. If you try to be someone else, this will take too much energy and it will make it difficult to be consistent with your brand. So be authentic to yourself. Know that you will need to interact with your audience. So think about the ways your audience wants you to communicate with them and align it with your communication. This is the tone of your brand. We will talk more about a brand in just a few slides. If you have social media where you follow artists or authors, something you can do to understand the term brand is to go to their profile, check their style, what do they post, how is their approach with the, with the readers or the audience, frequency on posts, and specific elements on their content, such as fonts, filters, quotes, fences, if they use formatting on, on their posts. There, you can identify the way they're engaging uh, with the audience and find out why you're following them. If you don't have social media, if you're someone who really doesn't like social media, then you can go to an author's website or blog and seek for those specific elements I mentioned to check that author's or um, influencer's brand. Don't be afraid to reach out to other authors. By reaching out to your favorite authors that are similar to you, you can find out what has worked for them, or better yet, what hasn't worked for them. And a brand is ever-changing and evolution. Just like you as an author will grow in your discipline, your brand must grow with you. Start by choosing your tone, your look, your methods of communication, and be ready to make small adjustments over time. To increase the reach of your campaign, make sure to publish in multiple formats. You can publish in ebook, paperback, and audiobooks. And this will give your end reader the flexibility to access your book in the way that works best for them. Publishing in multiple formats also expands the searchability of your book and promotional opportunities. Let's talk about ACX. ACX or Audible Creation Exchange is a service Amazon offers that connects the authors with narrators to create an audiobook from your paperback or ebook. So in KDP, you can publish those two formats in paper or digital. And with ACX, you can you can start with an audiobook. As an author, um, you can create an ACX account, claim your books, and start auditioning narrators to record your book. For each book, you can decide if you want to narrate or how you want to pay to the narrators. This also allows you to use the WhisperSync. Uh, WhisperSync is a feature that saves the reader's place in your book, whether they are reading on their coat couch or listening in their car. So you can use this feature as well. To get started on your audiobook, visit acx.com and click on the how to it works link here, this one. From there, you can select whether you're an author or an author who will be narrating their own book. Again, this the link to this um, to this partner site, ACX, it's included in today's unlowable companion. Another suggestion is to consider enrolling your paperback book in expanded distribution. So expanded distribution can help your reader um, reach more readers worldwide through online retailers, bookstores, and distributors within the, uh, the United States. Most online retailers and bookstores find books through purchasing relationships with large distributors. If your book is listed with these distributors, the retailers um, they partner with have the opportunity to buy your book. So this is a really good option to to have more exposure and through expanded distribution you can make the the book available to those retailers however this doesn't guarantee that your book will be ordered from a specific retailer or online bookstore so you can enroll your book by going to the paperback rights and pricing section and here 
well check if, if you if you meet the eligibility requirements and from here you can enroll your book okay planning on how to find new readers communicate with your readers and how much time to spend on promoting your books it's a funny thing I know that all of you would love for me to give you an extra recipe, a pinch of social media, a dash of plugin, a smitten up advertising, and an email for 30 minutes. Voila, a, a successful promotional campaign. But it doesn't work this way. It really takes some trial and error to figure out what works best for you and your readers. But I'll give you some suggestions on where to where to begin. So let's look at creating a schedule your time is precious but creating a schedule for promoting your book will free up your time to do other things like writing your next book determine how much time you're able and willing to spend promoting your book before publication at lunch and after publication once you have the time frame set then select your methods of communicating with your audience be realistic in how much time you have to spend on each of this or you will lose your readers trust if you attempt to do all of them and end up doing none or spend so much time promoting your books and you don't have time to do what you love writing so by the way some realistic um, and established authors suggest that the best way to gain new readers is to write another book so this is something you may want to take into consideration as well. Before you launch your book, you will want to create some buzz. Um, look at building a website, creating a social media presence, create a blog, and look for in-person opportunities to schedule post releases. If you're comfortable on social media and have lots of followers or friends, or you want to give it a try, then start there and save the website and blog for later. If you already have a website and blog, start a teaser campaign for your upcoming release. You can play with it. If it's not working, then you can modify this strategy. Okay, so for the 70% of the audience who, who are willing to spend most of the time on social media, I will share with you some best practices on social media that, that some authors have found that works. Remember to create unique and engaging content to attract your audience properly. Use the schedule we just figured it out for your posts and analyze the followers behavior on, our, on your profile. Something you, when, you may want to note is that when you select on which app on social media you, you are willing to develop your promotional strategy, identify your target audience needs and where they tend to spend more of their time. You can use a online learning website to seek on, on more tips. So let's start with Facebook. The app contains lots of resources. You can get the most out of them, such as dark posts. On dark posts, you can use an eye catching image that stands out and provides viewers the reason to click and follow you. Facebook, it's a free, you know, it's a free app. Um, so you can definitely use the dark posts. Videos, you can create short videos with attractive content about books, trailers, quotes about the author, about you writing your next project. You can create those ones. Um, stories. This is a really good one and attractive because it's a 24 hour communication. So here you can communicate with your readers quick, but constant. So let's say every day you will post something, either a quote, your, a picture about the author, a picture about your book, some comments or reviews you receive from, from your readers. You can use this um, short communication because readers love knowing about the author, so may they may identify with you. Then groups, groups would be the the next option. You can join or create groups. Here you can share your posts with a niche of group. If your book is about romance, let's say, then you can join a community of readers who have passion and affinity with this genre. And here you can identify their needs. How do this audience see for books? What are their their 
like the components they expect to see on on that genre, etc. Ads, you can, can see their Facebook ads and creating an author profile where you can share a link to your book on the Amazon website. So here we included that Facebook, it's for brand awareness and advertising. It works for this for some of the authors. Then um, we have a trendy app, which is Instagram. Stories, videos, and dark posts work on Instagram as well. You can record yourself writing on a story. You can create some polls. You can ask to your audience about ideas on names for new characters on upcoming releases. Um, then we we suggest considering using the same filters, fonts, and color palette on your posts to create your brand. Here on social media is where you can create your brand. IGTV gives you the chance to connect with your readers, share about your book, yourself, give the chance to your readers to know more about you, the author, and include the most information up front. Then on Instagram, you can you can schedule some and plan some giveaways. You can create this one to encourage your readers to follow you. Here you can encourage your readers to leave a review on the Amazon website or a comment on your posts in exchange of a author copy of your book or a ebook. Then Reels. Reels, it's the, the second uh, feature, on, the last feature on Instagram. Here you can create fun and engaging content, 15 to 30 seconds, and share it on your feed. So your daily routine or something like that, you can, as an author, right, you can share that on, on the Reels. Twitter will be the, the third app where you can market your work. Here you can attract new followers, improve your author brand, recognition, and encourage customers to follow you. So you can use your bio to showcase your brand's personality. We recommend you to write a strong profile bio, basically to create that presence on media. So you can use Twitter for that. Then the second feature, you can use polls. In here, you can interact as well through polls with your audience and find out their opinions through polls. Number three, uh, reach out influencers for more exposure. Then um, you can create or implement hashtags. This is a way, a great way to influence on Twitter to get some exposure so you can implement hashtags. And finally, interact with your followers because this is a more public relations site as we added in here, relations with the customers. So you can use Twitter for this. And last, the last site I will mention today is YouTube. Here you can take advantage of your teaching skills and entertainment skills. You can create a YouTube channel and share the links in your social media. Here you can create how-to sessions, like how to format my book, how did I format my book, or how I I create my cover. Whatever you can you can um, create those sessions educational sessions on on YouTube. You can like to create and figure out your brand, you can upload content on a weekly or bi-weekly basis on a specific day and time. For example, every Thursday at 6 p.m. Eastern time, you will upload a new short video. So your readers will know that every th Thursday they will have a video from you. And you can encourage your readers to subscribe so they will receive a notification every time you upload new content. So if you if you're publishing an ebook at the end, at the end of the reader of the ebook, you can leave your the links to your social media so your readers can subscribe, can follow you, and can get to to, to know you more. Remember the last tip on social media, remember to check the analytics and modify this strategy if required. Now let's talk about some KDP free resources that you can use. We will start with KDP pre-order. The KDP pre-order allows you to begin creating a buzz around your ebook even before it is released. 
So you can create an Amazon detail page that allows your reader to purchase your book up to 90 days in advance. With the Kindle pre-order, you have the link to your ebook to embed it in your promotional campaigns. So you can include the link to your pre-order on a Instagram story, let's say like, hey, I'm, I'm writing my next pre-order. Here is the link to the Amazon website where you can purchase my, my book. Or you can include it on a Facebook post. This is about playing with what you want the audience to, to know about yourself and about your new releases. Then um, something you really need to be careful with with pre-orders is to make sure you submit your final version on time because you don't want to disappoint your readers if you don't submit the, the final manuscript. So going to the uh, title setup, under the ebook details, you have the option to make the pre-order, to schedule the pre-order and schedule a release date. So you need to ensure you upload the final version of your pre-order on the deadline or timeline established here. If you try to go after that timeline, um, the system won't let you upload the manuscript and you will lose your pre-order. So you need to be really, really careful with this, with the timelines um, in here. 72 hours prior the release date, you can't make any modifications to, to the pre-order. Okay, now let's talk about Goodreads. Goodreads is the world's largest community of book lovers, has over 95 million members, Additionally, there are even more readers who browse the site who have not yet officially joined as a member. Readers are shelving 18 million books every month. And lastly, don't be afraid of bad reviews. 92% of ratings are three stars and higher. Okay, I will give you specific information about good rates. Um, you can also engage with the 95 million members of Goodreads in this uh, five ways. Number one, create a Goodreads account. You can become a Goodreads author by creating a Goodreads account and claiming your profile, as with Author Central. You can claim your profile and books. Be sure to keep your bio and books listings up to date. Use the bio to show your personality, providing a friendly tone. Number two, shelve, rate, and review books. Be part of the community by shelving, rating, and reviewing books. Readers want to know what you're reading, and this gives readers another reason to follow you, because readers love interacting with authors like they would with another reader in, in the community. So shelf, rate, and review. Number three, run a good rates giveaway. Advertise your book by running a giveaway. Giveaways are great for driving awareness and shelvings for your book. More about giveaways in the next slide. Then number four, use Ask the Author. Interact with readers using this, this feature as the author. This gives you an easy way to talk about your book with readers. And number five, use Kindle Notes and Highlights. So you can share insights of your book using Kindle Notes and Highlights on Goodreads. Simply by adding five to 10 annotations, you will engage those who have shelved the book at least three stars. Those who haven't read it yet may get motivated to start. So for steps two through five, Goodreads was built to amplify these actions that you take on the site. So you can definitely use these options on Goodreads. Similar to a mini ad campaign, paid Giveaways helps drive discovery of your book. To enter your giveaway, a reader shelves your book as one to read. This additionally shows up in the newsfeed of the reader's friends and followers. Okay, now um, giveaways deliver the following benefits for your book. Help your readers discover your book. Capture an audience of readers for your book and help build a buzz about your book. Publishers and, and self-publishers, authors who use Kindle Direct Publishing can run Kindle book giveaways for books they published. Authors will need to connect to their KDP accounts. 
So many run giveaways before a book gets published, a successful campaign may include a series of two to three giveaways before and then after the book's launch. Just make sure you have uploaded the book, either an ARC or final copy to the Kindle store, and that the book exists on Goodreads before you create a giveaway for a Kindle book. You can offer as few as one and up to 10 print or 100 Kindle eBooks. Kindle eBooks are automatically sent to readers the day after the giveaway ends, and you're responsible for sending copies of print books to winners within two weeks. So please take into consideration printing and shipping costs when running a print book giveaway. A regular giveaway costs $119. Again, a regular one, $119. A premium giveaway costs $599. It receives priority placements on the giveaway pages and you are able to personalize a message after the giveaway to the non-winners encouraging to, uh, to purchase your book. Giveaways can run up to for up to uh, 30 days. So um, again, regular giveaways, $119, premium, $599, and you can run them for up to 30 days. Look at sending copies of your book to your friends or followers on social media so that they can be part of your conversation. Hold contests on social media, as I previously mentioned on Instagram or Facebook. You can purchase copies of your book at cost and give them away to create buzz by purchasing paperback author copies or ebook gifting. So gifting for Kindle allows you to purchase a copy of your book or your digital book and then send it to others. You can purchase multiple copies or just one. Many authors will use a social media campaign or a newsletter to gather followers and use the gifting as an incentive. So instructions for how to use this feature can be found in the KDP help pages in prepare, publish, promote, inside of promote your book, Kindle merchandising programs, and Finally, buying and gifting ebooks for others. You can just use this keyword, buying and gifting ebooks for others, or the link to this resource, it's included in today's downloadable companion. Similar to, to gifting for Kindle, author copies for paperbacks allow you to purchase copies of your book to sell or give away. After your paperback book it's published, you can purchase copies of your book just by paying for the manufacturing cost and shipping. These books can be sold or given away as promotions, at book signings, or other author events. To order author copies, you will need to go to your bookshelf and click on the ellipsis next to your title life. So this will be the ellipsis, the three dots in here. You can then add your copies to your Amazon shopping cart directly from the KDP account and choose to ship to the closest marketplace. Here you have the quantity and the marketplace. And then you submit the order. Again, your title must be live on the Amazon website to be able to publish author copies. Then you can enroll in marketing features on KDP like KDP Select and promote your book with the Kindle countdown deals or free promotions. So KDP Select is a great way to expose your title to a new audience through the Kindle Unlimited um, library. Kindle Unlimited is just one of the marketing options that are available to you once you join the KDP Select program. KDP Select does not cost anything to enroll your book. In exchange for enrolling your content to be exclusive to Amazon, you will receive some added benefits like eligibility to earn 70% to earn royalty for sales to customers in Japan, India, Brazil, and Mexico, then access to additional royalty earned for Kindle Unlimited, access to additional promotional opportunities, during the 90-day KDP Select enrollment, you can run either Kindle free promotions or Kindle, Kindle countdown deals. We will talk about those ones in, in just a moment. 
and KDP Select participants are paid through the Kindle Select Global Fund based on the total number of pages read for the first time. By enrolling a single book, you can you will have a whole catalog where you can find your book on the Kindle Unlimited library and you will have access to a new set of promotional tools. So you can consider this, this option. Again, the only eligibility requirement is to be it's to be exclusive to the Kindle store. You can roll your book in KDP Select during the title setup during um, under KDP Select enrollment, and here you can enroll your book. Again, this is just for ebooks. For paperbacks, we don't have this option. Then uh, we will talk about Kindle countdown deals. This is a price promotion available in the US and the UK markets. Say you want to run a price promo on a book at 99 cents. Normally, you would have to have changed your royalty to 35%, change your list price to um, 99 cents, and republish. With the Kingdom Countdown deal, you can schedule the promotion in your KDP account, select the dates on which you want uh, the book to be discounted, and the price will automatically drop to 99 cents and you will make the 70% royalty rate on the discounted price. Then when a book is in a Kindle countdown deal, the normal list price shows a slash, as you can see it in here, the digital price $4.99 and uh, the discounted price 99 cents. And this will be shown on the on the Amazon website so that customers can get to know that the book is discounted. Then let's talk about free promotions. The free promotions allow you to offer your book for free. Say you want to get the word out to new readers. The free promotion allows you to offer your book for free for up to five days each 90 day KDP select period. You can run a free book promotion in all Kindle marketplaces where the KDP Select Enroll title is available for sale. You can have a couple of options for how to run the promotion for the five days. You can run all five days at once, go one day at a time, or offer your book free for multiple days in a row. You can select either one. So click the ellipsis next to the published ebook on your bookshelf and 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 then it will open this, this tab. Here you can check if your title is enrolled. Here you can um, here you can choose either a countdown deal or a free promotion under the run a price promotional header in here. Okay, this is a new feature. Once again, KDB has listened to your feedback and we're happy to announce that you can now nominate your books for inclusion in Kindle deals and promotions. So Kindle deals are limited time discount deals offered on eBooks. Again, these options are just for eBooks. Lasting from one day up to multiple weeks, customers will see both the regular price and the promotional price on the eBooks detail page. Books enrolled in the Kindle deals may be eligible for feature placements in the Kindle store or additional email marketing. While the nomination program is in beta, you will receive royalties on the discounted price for every sale during the deal according to your selected royalty plan. To be eligible for Kindle deals, um, a title must be an ebook enrolled in the 70% royalty plan in Amazon.com available for purchasing at least one marketplace where the primary language matches the language of the title. Let's say English in Amazon.com, Portuguese in Amazon.com.br, French in Amazon.fr, and, um, and the title can't, cannot be adult content. So those are the eligibility requirements, additional information on requirements on the KDP help page. Then Prime Reading, it's an app, a, 
a promotional option program that allows authors to get their titles in front of Amazon most engaging readers. Prime Reader members enjoy unlimited reading from a rotating selection of books, magazines, comics, and more on any device at no additional cost. So your book will remain available for regular sales and royalty earnings during your Prime Reading promotional period according to our KDP terms and conditions. While your book gets enrolled in the Prime Reading, it must also be live and enrolled in KDP Select for the entire length of the Prime Reading promotion. Since Prime Reading is a promotional program, Prime Reading, Prime Reading units will not show up in your KDP reports. If a customer enrolled in the KDP Select program or in Kindle Unlimited and also Prime Reading, then their pages read will count towards the Kindle Unlimited and not the Prime Reading. Now I will share with you the eligibility requirements to be part of Prime Reading. The title must be an ebook, enrolled in KDP Select, available for purchasing at least one marketplace where the primary language matches the language of the title, and can't be auto content. The same requirements. Now, um, how to nominate a title. So to nominate a title for either Kindle Deals or Prime Reading, you will need to go to the Marketing tab at the top of your um, your account. Under nominations, under nominations for promotions, choose to choose the promotion, either Kindle Deals or Prime Reading, the one which you want to nominate your book. Then click Nominate a book. Either options. Choose the title you want to nominate from your eligible titles. Click Continue. And by default, your title will be automatically nominated again at the end of the 90 day nomination period. If you would rather select a different title after the nomination expires, uncheck the, the checkbox. You can edit out to renew settings at any time under Manage Nominations and click Nominate Your Book. Again, additional information on nominations in the Marketing tab on our Help uh, Center. Kindle Deals and Prime Reading are available in Amazon.com, Amazon.ca, Amazon.co.uk, DE, which would be Germany, ES for Spain, FR for France, Amazon IT, Amazon IN, Amazon BR, well, .co.br, Amazon.co.jp, and Amazon com.au for Australia. So the participation details. The expiration, nominations expire after 90 days. If we don't contact you within the 90 day period, your title was not selected for a promotion. There is an auto renewal, so you can choose to have the nomination auto renew at the end of the 90 day period, or you can choose to nominate a new title. The duration, of the Kindle deals and prime reading vary. Kindle deals range from one day to multiple weeks and prime reading ranges from 90 days to 180 days. This is important to keep in mind if you're planning other promotional outside of Amazon. Selection, if we select your title, we will send you an email with the details of the offer within the 90 day nomination period. However, the program enrollment may occur outside of the 90 day nomination period. Okay, then uh, let's talk about Author Central. Be sure to claim your Author Central page. Amazon Author Central allows you to share the most out of, up to date information about yourself and works with millions of readers. You can add features such as an author biography videos, photos, and blogs. So you can claim your page by going to authorcentral.amazon.com. Um, then the link to this feature, well, to this partner site, it's included in today's downloadable companion. And you just need to click join now to claim your account and claim your titles. Okay, now let's talk about Amazon advertising. Start looking at creating a pay-per-click campaign 
with Amazon advertising. Amazon advertising, it's Amazon pay per click advertising, which means that you pay a bit when a reader clicks on your ad. We offer a variety of placements in search results, on detailed pages, and on Kindle e-readers where eligible. Amazon advertising ads are mobile optimized, they support budget flexibility, and make it easy to create an ad quickly. There are three types of ads available to KDP authors to meet their needs. So uh, they offer sponsored product campaigns for ebooks and paperbacks, sponsored brand campaigns for KDP authors, and lock screen ads campaigns for ebooks. Okay, we will talk more about each campaign. Sponsored products is an ad type for both ebooks and paperbacks that can increase the visibility in search results and on detail pages. Utilizing advanced targeting to place your ad in front of your potential readers. The ad will display both on desktop and mobile browsers, as well as on the Amazon smartphone app. Clicks on this ads drive customers to the advertised product detail page. Then we will talk about lock screen ads. This one's allowed you to promote ebooks directly to the readers most likely to buy your book. Engage readers with interest targeted ads, for example, by genre while they are on the Kindle e-readers and Fire tablets. And this makes it easy for them to purchase or download your book. Then this one was, um, this one is the sponsor brand campaign, which helps customers to discover and engage with your brand in prominent search placements and generate awareness and consideration with, um, with a link directly to your landing page or store. Okay, sponsor brands feature your brand logo and custom headline and app to three of your products. So this would be not just one product, app to three products. This ads appear in multiple locations on desktops and mobile pages, include above, um, including above search results. So this would be an ad cost per click. The You will pay only when a customer clicks on your ads and you can control how much you spend by selecting a budget and choosing how much the beat per click. To participate in sponsor brands, you must meet certain eligibility criteria or requirements. So you can contact the AMS team on additional information for, for this type of ads. If you have decided to advertise using AMS, we suggest beginning with sponsor products because this allows you to use keywords targeting or product targeting. You can choose automatic targeting and Amazon advertising will target based on similar products. And you can, you can find additional information on this in today's unlowable companion with a link to Amazon advertising. Depending on the ad type you choose, to use, you can set a budget at either the daily or campaign level. We recommend running ads of a minimum of two weeks before making modifications to your ads. For campaigns or keywords that are performing well, you can create your budget or bits and add additional related keywords or products to your top performers. Once you have mastered the sponsored product ads for both your eBooks and paperback, Look at adding lock screen ads to your ebook campaigns. This will open your reach even more. It may take you some time to find the right combination of ad types to find campaign types that works for you and your readers. And to get started advertising with Amazon advertising, you will need to click on the ellipsis next to the title that you want to, to include your advertising campaign. Then you need to click the promote and advertise. Click on the yellow create a night campaign in here. Then this will take you to your Amazon advertising account. And from here, you can choose to set up your promotional. Remember to make sure that you meet the Amazon creative acceptance policies and Amazon ad policies for eBooks um, to create your campaign. Make sure 
you are maintaining your connection with your end readers once the excitement of your book launch settles down and you begin working on your next book you cannot forget to interact with your readers with those readers who who you uh, promote your book then you need to plan some time each week to work on promoting your book or catalog of books once a month look at what is working what is not working be ready be ready to to let any promotional that it's not working go uh, be ready to to have some feedback from your readers if you didn't have a blog then or website then it may be time to create your blog look at the amazon advertising campaigns used in your campaigns manager and there still working do they need to change something reward your readers by occasionally sponsoring a giveaway running a free promotion for 24 hours and only announce it on your twitter account let's say or on your instagram account be creative look for unique opportunities to engage your readers and finally spend some time every day responding to emails to um any answer to your posts to your readers. They really love um, spending time reading your content, so you may want to spend some time responding to to your e to their emails or to their comments on your posts. The companion for today's webinar contains a link to all the resources and help pages we spoke about it today. There are also links to articles which will help you plan your promotional strategy. And remember, it will take some trial and experimenting to find a promotional plan that works best for you and your readers. But hopefully after today's session, you will have a jumping off point to start creating your, your strategy. We really thank you for joining us for the Developing a Promotional Strategy webinar. Have a nice rest of your day and wish you a happy publishing.